Hello everyone, welcome back to CDDA. After we made it home to the Rusty Rifle, a lot of zombies moved into the area while we were gone. So I had to do a lot of corpse cleanup so we could pack up Fred in peace. It was a couple hours work, so I'm just showing the highlights here. I hate zombies so much. <sighs> One of you has... An axe in your back. Our first fire axe. Right, let's go put David in the car. He's gonna go in the passenger seat. No, he should ride in the back seat. He's too small for the front seat. That's too dangerous. Drop these in the trunk. I spent a couple of days destroying cars in the parking lot for mechanics experience. And then David and I had a last supper of beer and beans by the fire. But uh, David wasn't much of a talker. The next day we set off for Rosewood, but our first stop was Crossroads, so we could dismantle all the cars for XP as well. Alright Dave, are you ready? It's gonna be you, and me, and probably an open road full of zombies, so let's try not to hit any. There are a lot more than I expected out here on the highway. Like, a lot more. We're pretty far out of town and there's several packs full of zombies. Hopefully they're not this dense all the way to crossroads. I'm willing to bet quite a few followed us so we need to be ready and keep an eye out. However, we should have two new vehicles up there ever since we took out the bicycle mod so let's go take a look at them first. Alright, we got a mail truck that's wrecked. Doesn't look like we can get into the back, but it might be that that car's in the way. Let's try over here. Nope. It is a mail truck though, so I really want to get inside this. I know I have the materials to dismantle this wreck. Oh, I see you guys. Followed me all the way over here, did you? I did not have any appointments for zombies to bite me in the ass today, so you gotta go. And your friend as well, there are no openings today. So scram. So it looks like several have actually followed us, so let's take care of them real fast. I know there's a few farther down the road. You guys are really persistent to walk all this way down here. But I'm sorry to say that your persistence will not pay off. I commend you for trying, though. Oh, is that a fire truck? Looks a little wonky though. Ooh, we got some good stuff here. Another fire axe. And some firefighter pants. We're back on duty, baby. Just don't tell them about the fires we set, please. Alright, let's take a look inside, you old girl. No key. Nothing in the glove box. How is your condition? Oh, that's why it's so bad. You are missing two tires. Alright, taking a chance here and using the last of my fuel. And it's bugged. We cannot get into the back of the mail truck. But I'll take these, I guess. So many pipes from one car. Alright, let's get to work dismantling. 
and one free montage for you. We did a lot of dismantling on the cars, we took out the radios, their light bulbs, their batteries. I didn't do the tires because honestly I was lazy. And we leveled up mechanics to one. And then we proceeded to keep destroying everything in our path and taking everything that wasn't nailed down. And I also did a bit of foraging off camera as well. And then I discovered that there was also gas in one of these wrecks. And then we spent our last night here. Woke up and got the gas out of that car. It was quite a bit. Two tanks, well, two uh, gas cans full. Sorry, my brain died there for a second. And then we take off to Rosewood. Gotta take one of the off ramps to get through the wreckage. And hopefully we don't hit too many zombies on the way, because it's gonna be a long trip there, and our hood is only at 25% condition last I checked. So off we go then. starting to snow. Perfect. And Fred proceeds to announce her arrival to everyone. Also, I'm driving slow so zombies as I enter their area have time to group up instead of being scattered across the highway. It makes it easier to drive by them sometimes when they're densely populated. So please pardon me if I'm a little quiet during in this part. I'm concentrating and really trying to not hit zombies. Luckily the uh, WASD keys are in the orientation that is easier for my brain to compute the direction to move rather than when we were driving south through Moldra. I had to do opposite inputs and my brain was like, what? Please pardon that zombie having a snack on that man down there. He's just... Living his best zombie life, I guess. Holy cannoli, so many eaten bodies around here. That's like three back to back. Every time I've ever made this drive to Rosewood, I always think it's a lot shorter, but it turns out to be a really long drive, especially when you're trying to avoid hitting anything. Oh look! Another body that was munched on. I remember it was actually ambiguous amphibians. Can I survive in the car video? I had actually fallen asleep on the couch watching YouTube and I woke up to that video playing and I just kept watching it. And I remember the scenery of him just driving down the road. And you could see the view going through all the trees. And that that was the video that actually got me to start to play Zomboid about a little over a year ago now. And so it was all by chance that that video auto-played in the background. And everything came to be. I played Zomboid. And then recently I just started my YouTube channel. And I don't know, that's just pretty wild to me. But uh, yes, anyway, Zomboid was always on my radar, it's just that was the first time I really saw the game in action, and I was like, hey, that makes me think of Sims 1. I want to play that. And here we are. Potentially driving to our demise in Rosewood, because for the sake of story, Cinder would want to return there to see what happened to her co-workers, and we all know how that turned out. Okay, we are just about almost there, I think. Trying to decide if I'm going to make a left at the dirt road just before Rosewood and sneak into that community first, or if I'm gonna make a right at the Rosewood turn off and go to a military camp instead. We'll see how the population is when I get closer. Still dodging lots of zombies. I think I've only hit one or two burnt out car 
by itself. That's weird. There is the dirt road. It's pretty overgrown and there's a lot of zombies around here, so let's head to the military camp first. Yeah, let's do that. Drive around these bozos. I love the random patches of snow on the ground. A sign that I can't read because it's backwards. I think that's the sign that warns about prisoners being hitchhikers, potentially. So we are very close. I think we have a little more to worry about than dangerous hitchhikers right now. There's the turn-off sign. Oh, this is... This is dicey. Cut through here. Please don't touch my car. It's not insured anymore. Ah! Side swipe. Not the front. We're fine. Okay, we still have a bit to go. Because that's the substation. There is the turn. We're going to make a right here instead of a left. Left would take us into Rosewood, but right's going to take us to the military compound that I visited in my, um, prisoner evacuation series. Oop, that's another one. Side swipe. Weird turn in the road. It is surprising how many zombies spawn here for Rosewood in this rural farming area. I think we're almost there. We're in an area that has a lot of bad memories for me, where I almost died over a duffel bag. So let's just keep moving. Another body that was eaten. Man, these rosewood zombies are just hungry. More farm area. That's not the turn. We gotta keep going straight. It's gonna be a right. I remember turning right and quickly trying to bandage my wound. Looks like the zombies are finally thinning out, so I know we're getting closer. Because this area has, like, almost no zombies. Alright, here we are. Off the main road. Drive through here. And we should be able to lose these zombies by the time we get to the military compound. Compound camp? I don't know. It's got barracks. Turn down here. Oh, a wreck. There could be some good supplies in here, so let's stop real fast. Pull up here. And we'll leave the car running just in case. It shouldn't take us too long. Looks like we have two medical patients and one paramedic. One patient is served. You, sir, are not doing your job. You're fired. Now let me assist the last patient. I've got the keys, but I doubt they run, but we'll pick them up just in case. Alright, so what do we got here? Trauma bag. Scissors, tweezers. Trauma bag could be useful, so we'll take that. It's got wipes in it. Alright, what about you, Fred lookalike? twine, some tape, nothing in the glove box, 
That was your condition. Bad. Very bad. What about you, Mr. Ambulance? Also very, very bad. So that's a no on you guys. Wait, did I check the glove box? I'll take those shades and put them on. And I'll dismantle your radio. You certainly don't need it anymore because, well, I fired you. Alright, let's get back to what we were doing. Hop back in the car here. We're a little overburdened. Really need to sort some stuff when we get there. And we can move that in the back seat at least. Drop that in the bag. Drop these in the glove box. Okay, whatever. It's close enough. We'll be there in a second anyway. Here is the turnoff. Looks a little or a lot overgrown. It's gonna be fun maneuvering here. There's one of the houses, so let's turn right here. Hopefully not hit trees. You never know which ones are hittable trees. They just jump out at you from overgrowth. Alright, we'll park over at the picnic table area. There we go, we are here. Let's see what we got. Hopefully there are no alarms in these buildings like before. Probably can find some good stuff here. Maybe we can find the herbalism magazine in the houses. There's lots of bookcases in there. Let's go ahead and head on inside. Could be a few zombies here in the buildings, but it's generally only a handful. Some ammunition, some clothes. Any zombies out there? Nope. Eh. Don't really, really need that. Door number two. Boots. I know our R's are probably not in great condition. Let's take a look. That's... I think I hear a zombie out front. I don't see one. There you are. Which door is it? That one. You're a very circle zombie in there. Dismantle that. Not much in here. Let's try the next door after this. Drop your stuff on the ground, it's useful. No one in here. Some lumberjack shirts. Too bad I'm a firefighter. We stay on brand here. Door's locked, so let's head around. Don't see anyone in there. We'll hop right on in. Shut the window real fast so no one surprises us. Boots and hats. Let's 
All right, let's check out the bathroom. Don't see anyone in there. I'm sorry, what? Where did you even come from? That was so fast. But not fast enough, haha. <laughs> Alright, we'll go in there later. I hate checking bathrooms. And that's just another bathroom. Looks good for now. I really want to see what's in the canteen. I hear zombies. There's one at the window. Another one at this window. Of course, the lock's broken. That was a nice window you just destroyed. Alright, where did that other one go? He was just at the window. I hate it when they move like that. Go around the back and look. And he's back at the window. What are these teleporting zombies here? Using hacks? Let's go look inside. It's clear. Any food in here? Ooh, that's good food. Garbage bags, also useful. Let's take a look over here real fast. Ooh, more good food. Nothing. Hmm, not bad. Not a bad haul. Alright, so I ran back and got my tent and other supplies. We're going to dismantle everything in here and set up a base camp. Alright, let's set up the tent. Since I destroyed everything, including the benches, but the tent will be better to sleep on anyway. My tent is set up. We'll dismantle the last of these counters. And use them to finish boarding up the windows. There's not very many zombies here, but I don't want to take chances. Alright, we got all the food out. Let's drop it over here real fast. Alright, say goodbye to your countertops. If I knew how to destroy your stoves yet, I would do that too out of spite. Alright, barricading up the last window for now. They're not all done, but it's good enough for tonight. Alright, and with that, we are one step closer to Rosewood. Thank you for watching everyone, this is Genuine Toad, I'll see you in the next one, and don't forget, I'm happy to have you here.